This World Environment Day, I've teamed up with BMW to give you a guide to the world of electric vehicles and how they are changing the way we get around. So apart from the obvious differences between electric and internal combustion engines, what are the main differences between them under the skin? Well, for starters, there is no starter. In fact, there are very few moving components in an EV motor, which means there are fewer things to look at when you take your car for a service. BMW, for example, give an EV a thorough inspection and replace the brake fluid, the pollen filter, and if need be, replace the brake pads and wiper blades. A fossil fuel car would have all that done, plus it would also need oil, spark plugs, air filters, and possibly even a new clutch as well. An EV with fewer moving parts needs none of that. And there is also a cost saving. For example, the cost to service an X3 SUV for five years or 80,000 kilometres is over $2,000. For an iX3, it's just $1,650 for six years. And an EV doesn't just use less resources while it's on the road. At the end of its useful life, the motor can be stripped for parts with components recycled or refurbished. The batteries can have a second life as energy storage devices at power plants and then have their raw materials stripped and reused again. There are also no gears in an EV and acceleration when you put your foot down is instantaneous. Of course, if you do that a lot, you're gonna drain the battery pretty quickly. Many EVs also have a regenerative braking system, which allows you to drive with only one pedal. As soon as you take your foot off the accelerator, the car starts to brake, and it actually draws some of the electricity that's been generated by that braking back into the battery to top it up. But perhaps the biggest difference between an EV and a fossil fuel car is how they are refueled. Now, if I'm totally honest, it does take a little longer to charge a battery than the five or so minutes it takes to fill up a car with petrol or diesel. So a little forward planning can go a long way. There are charging stations popping up in car parks everywhere, and BMW have teamed up with ChargeFox to provide owners with free charging for five years. You could also install a wall charger in your garage at home and charge the car while you sleep, giving you a full battery when you're ready to go in the morning. And with cars like the BMW iX, giving you up to 620 kilometres of range on a full charge, that's something you might only need to do perhaps once a week or so, depending on how you drive. Living with an EV is not radically different to having a car with an internal combustion engine, and it's amazing just how quickly you adapt to it. What seems like a glimpse into the future now will soon be a part of everyday life. 